G'day and welcome back to Duck Solar Gaming and Hort Belleron. Yes, that's right. We are back in France, continuing on with our farming here. And we are cracking on with everything we need to do with the daily jobs. And one of the things we've got to do is we've got to finish clearing out the warehouse of the jams and the juices, which we did in yesterday's uh, game day. Uh, and in the last episode, we cleared off a lot of that. I'm clearing off some of that. I've also got some cucumbers on here as well. I just realized I've got 200,000 um, liters, kilos, whatever of cucumbers. Um, so we've, we've got an absolute glut of cucumbers. I don't know why we've got so much in the way of cucumbers, but anyway, there's no point holding that much stock. So we're going to clear some of that out as well. All right, so I want to clear this out. I want to sell some of this off um, and I'll explain why in a second. But anyway, in the last episode, we were talking about having um, ah, here I had to go and have a sneeze. Um, we were talking about um, having a bucket of funds available to us all the time and not sort of um, running low on money. Uh, so we're going to make sure of that at the moment. Um, but the other thing is we, we also need to just continue to buy stuff as we need it uh, as well. And um, I, I'm well aware of the fact that we don't want to overstretch, but by the same token, if we have a need for something, we can utilize it, then, then why not? Now, one of the things we spoke of is we've just put another 300,000 into the, into the kitty. Um, one of the things we spoke of was whether we're gonna use the big M um, going forward for grass field. Now, I was having a bit of a think about that and I'm, I'm going to change it up. I'm going to keep the big M, but I'm going to buy something else. I think everyone knows by now what that's going to be. But um, there, is, there is a reason for that. The reason for that is it's a damn good price at the moment. So um, what we're going to do, we're going to come through here and load up another load of cucumbers. Um, and then before I go and sell it off, we're going to go to the shop and, and purchase some stuff. And then we've got to check on our potatoes. Uh, potatoes need to be emptied, actually. Um, he's ready to be emptied off, so we've got a whole pile of stuff to do. So let's just get this all ready. <clears throat> so load up from here. And load up some cucumbers. There we go. We've got 135,000 left. 270 pallets. So we're just going to get one load full sold off, um, as in one full truck load full. And then um, what we'll do is we will uh, leave the rest there and we'll just hopefully utilize it, or we'll sell it off a little bit later on as we need to. Um, but just while we think, thought about it and we need some money behind us, we just thought we'd get rid of it. And the 212 pallets. Trailer. We need, there we need about... Uh, Two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve, thirteen pallets. Okay, cucumber, and we'll just go thirteen pallets. Twelve to draw. Right, yeah, but they've typically gone too far back. So what we'll do is we'll do a drive by. We'll pick them up. Right, and the potato harvester is now full, so yes, we do need to get over there and unload him as well. But yeah, so, gonna finish, like I said, we're gonna load up this cucumber on this last trailer. All right, so what we we're talking about was this. So if I come in here to my used vehicle sale, down here we've got a Cougar at 48% off. Now this is this is the upgraded one that was upgraded for me. Um, and 
You know what? We're gonna we're gonna do it. Working speed fifty four kilometers. I'm gonna back that down. Um. There we go. What's going on. Right. Thank you. Forty four. Right. Uh, we'll set up standard. That's fine. Uh, original. Oh yeah. You know, we want the original. Um. Now. Our good friend Aussie Medic said that it's ugly, but you know what? Beauty's in the eye of the beholder. This is a beautiful machine. Yes, it may look a little bit ugly at the front, um, but you know what? It does the job fantastically. So we're going to buy that. So let's go and buy. Yes. Okay. Now we've bought that. The next problem is um, we can windrow with that, but I'm not going to. So what I want to do is I want to get a windrower. Um, so we're going to come down here and get our windrowers and hopefully we've got the Squadro 2000, uh, which is a 19 meter. The other's just dwarf in comparison. So we're going to get that. I'm going to buy that. Yep. Right. And then I think I've got a loading wagon uh, already. Forage wagons. And there's 120 cubic meters, and that's going to be enough. So, you know, I think what we might do just because we can, I'm going to upgrade it. Um, I think we're going to go to this one here, bit of extra money 27 kilometers out. In fact, I'll make him 30. Yeah, I know it's unrealistic, but that's okay. I don't care. Um, 50 cubic meters. Extension two. This is going to be two hundred and forty cubic meters. Yes, I know. Again, unrealistic. That's okay. And that will be our grass setup for that big grass field. Okay. Now, because we have got a dedicated um, setup for our grass field over here now, um, what I'm also going to look at doing is putting in a shed over here somewhere um, for it. Now, uh, problem is there's not a lot of area to put a shed in. Um, I visit over here. Um, because it's not flat, there's not a lot of places here for a shed, is there? Um, now, technically, do we own that land there? We do own all this land through here and use all this land through here. Okay. Um, I'm just thinking, is it worth putting a shed down this, this far end? I don't really want to be crossing the railway line unnecessarily. Put a shed down in here, I guess. We could, um... Yeah, well, let's do that. Let's clear this area out a bit, very quickly. And we're going to put a shed down in here. Doesn't need to be a huge shed. Just, uh, just big enough to... Suit. There we go. Alright, eh? Um, now... Let's configure the land. I think if we level it off about here to this level here, that should be fine. So let's um, landscape maximum. Make it a bit bigger. I'm going to sample that there. Level that through there. Smooth. There. All right. Now, that couple of trees we need to remove. And that one there. I'll remove that one there as well, I think. Okay, now we have to find a shed that's going to fit. Right, let's go in here. Uh, sheds. Uh, needs to be something that's a reasonable height to fit everything in. Um, and also fits with the decor, what we, decor of what we've been utilising here. And I mean, this is probably the shed we're after. Hmm. 
Where are we gonna have? We're gonna have the squad drive. We're gonna have the wagon. We're gonna have. Yeah, that's probably gonna be enough. That one's not as tall. Yeah, I think that'll do. Right, there we go. Got the shedding. Excellent. Oh, I was gonna landscape that now. Where's my gravel? Gravel here. Get the gravel in. Quick and easy. And the the border the field. There you have it. All right, there's our shed for our equipment. Excellent. All right, we gotta empty this guy off now. So let's do that. <clears throat> so yeah, so we'll move that equipment, we'll move the, the cougar and all that down to the to the grass field so it's ready to go. Um, but yeah, there you go. <clears throat> Just changing things up a little bit. And then what we're gonna do is that means what we can do is we can manually um, mow We'll manually mow and we'll um, windrow and, and load up all the grass. Um, we can use a follow me, all that sort of stuff. So, yeah, we'll be all good there. So that'll be excellent. All right. And the interesting part with this guy is going to be when he gets to the end, uh, to the narrower end of this field, how he's going to go about turning because he does do an awfully big turn to prep himself for the next row. So that will be interesting. I don't think the hired hand is going to cope overly well with it, to be honest. Um, but we'll see. Move him away. Okay. Excellent. Right, now, let's just go and grab our cougar and put him in the shed. Alright, excellent. Take him down through the, through the farm. And uh, get him over ready to mow some grass. And really, it should come as no surprise to anyone that I'm going to get the biggest and bestest uh, grass cutting machines I can. <clears throat> and that's certainly what we've done here. It is the biggest, it is the bestest, may not be the prettiest. Tell you what, it, it carves through that grass like nothing else. What we want. Quick, effective work on the field. <clears throat> Needs to have a bit of get up and go as well because the fact it's on such an incline all the way through the field. So. Rough through there. But this guy will certainly do all we need it to do. So. Well, that's good. And there we go. Excellent. He's parked. All right. You're continuing on through here. You're okay there. I might grab uh, this guy here. Oh, engine was running. All right. We'll go grab the windrow up and we'll get the loading wagon and we'll take all that over there as well. Feel that progressing. Um, we've finished with the cultivating of our fields as well so all of our fields that were um needing to be cultivated have been cultivated now which is good except for obviously the potato field um so they are all ready to be seeded that's another another preparation step done 
and uh, yeah, we're uh, in a good position now. It's it's good. So we're coming into the planting season again, and um, we'll get everything all aligned. In fact, we should be planting right now, shouldn't we? Really? Um, this is one of the things we should get going. We'll get uh, a couple of fields in with canola. Uh, so there's two fields we're going to plant with canola, and the rest we're going to plant with wheat. So uh, we certainly get the canola in the ground now. So we should look at doing that. Um, but I did also want to get the stuff moved over. So it's in position, ready to go for our grass, and this is going to be just purpose used for that one field, basically, because um, that's what we want it for. Don't need to worry about it for the store or anything else. So we'll just uh, get on over there and get it all done. All right. Should bring the back over and just smooth that out a little bit there. Right. This will determine how much room I'm going to have here for the loading forage wagon. I think there should be plenty of room. Uh, it helps if I press the right pedal and also turn the right way. Preferably not hit the uh, wall of the shed. Brand new shed installed, and day one we knock it down. There you go. Done deal. All right. That's all done there. Uh, what we're going to do as well, we're going to do... Um, bring the, oh yeah, I'll bring it over. Get the loading wagon, get ready. Might not bring it over straight away, but we'll go and collect it. All right, still got that rogue uh, silage bale there. <clears throat> Might just leave it there for posterity. See how long we leave it. All right. Uh, how's our potato harvest going? Nine percent. Oh, we got to get our take our cucumbers and sell them off, don't we? We might go do that next. Get them out of the way. So I'll freeze the trailer up. The trailer's up to do anything else we need to do, whether it be picking up some, um, some wool or whatever else. We'll go click the uh, the forage loading wagon and just get that out of the shop. Um, even though we've got a lot of other stuff just lying around here at the shop. I hope the shop owner doesn't mind that too much. Do us a pick of fertilizer and pig food and all that sort of stuff. We probably really should bring that out back to the farm so what we'll do is we'll bring this down park off here on the grass it's there all right jump out we'll go back grab the truck we're going to offload this uh load of cucumbers Cucumbers and what we got a little bit of juice and jam. There we go. So keeping us busy, certainly. There's lots of stuff to go on and get done and um Certainly not short of things to do. Uh, have a look at the state. Yeah, we have to get rid of this gra this this wool. Definitely. They're about to complain that they're full. 
So we need to come, at least that one of the sheep pens is, so we'll come and click the grass on the way, uh, sorry, the wool on the way back. Um, and then get that cleared out. Uh, hopefully you're not too close to where the trailers are. Yeah, we're fine. Maybe. Yeah, well, it is so nice not having to uh, worry about slowing down to like 20 k's for corners and stuff. It makes a huge difference. Now I don't expect to make a huge amount from this load because obviously the cucumbers don't sell for as much as uh, some of the other products. But um, I mean, still, it's it's just money in the pocket, isn't it? Effectively. Trailer offloading now. There we go. One hundred sixteen thousand dollars worth of cucumber. That little bit of jam and juice. So not too bad overall. Still, it's money in the pocket, so it doesn't really matter. Hmm. Actually, I didn't see how much we sold, to be honest, and how much cucumber we actually had on that load. So I should take note of that. Anyway, all good. All right, now we'll collect some wool. Uh, we might throw that straight in the spinnery. Uh, should be okay. I shouldn't pull the trailers in too close to the fence. All right. There, we we'll unload and load, and then we'll push the. Uh, all over. I love the pusher. I really rec reckon that's great. Days of having to try and get in really tough spots to load and other stuff, so it's uh, very, very handy. Yeah, these ones in. There we go. Right, excellent. Oh, actually, before we do that, let's go and have a look. What have we got at the spinnery? Uh, I still got a fair bit of wool there, so I'm probably actually better. Um, let's have a look and see. Does the tailor need any wool? The stuffed animals? We might be better off taking it over there, to be honest. Um, tailor, got a top. Uh, fabric, there we go. No, we've got plenty of wool there as well. So. Yeah, probably, probably just can put in the um in the warehouse. Probably as good a place as any for it. All right, so let's go do that, and then what we'll do is we'll start looking at getting some seed in the ground. Yes, it's taken us ages, I know. But that's one of the little things we need to get done. So. <clears throat> just come in here. We'll get that done. Uh, we've probably, uh, I've got to do the time again, so I'm going to have to put that up to 15. Um, and so we probably have some oil to collect and put away as well, but not now. There's a little bit there, not a lot, not a great deal. Alright. I think the trail is backing out of the way. There we go. Shut him down. Excellent. That's all that done. Let's have a look and see what we've got in here now. Um, 63,000 wool. That's okay. Uh, cheese. 
the cheese can go off to the market as well. Let's have a look and see. Um, so we're producing our maple syrup and our molasses, which is, well, actually, no, we're not. Um, have we got any maple sap? Why not? Because you're not distributing. Distribute and distribute. Oh, yeah. Uh, so I'm going to have to go get some maple sap, and that's okay. Uh, I'll go up here and have a look, see the bakery. Uh, you need some strawberries again. Uh, so I need to get some strawberries over there. Everything else looks to be okay. Brown sugar, some brown sugar, but that's um, that to come from the maple syrup. Uh, oatmeal, we need to get products over there to create, create our um, oatmeal, which is just um, oat and the brown sugar. Uh, the dairy. Uh, dairy's fine at the moment. Probably could put some more cocoa beans, sugar, and milk over there at some point, but for the moment, that's okay. Uh, cheese and butter is distributing, which is fine. Um, these are all running okay, although strawberries are a bit short of strawberries. Um, and we are a bit full. Uh, lemon jam, apple jam, cherry jam. Uh, pear juice, plum juice. Right, so we do we do need to get a bit of that stuff away. Right, okay. All right. Um, the orchard's running. That's fine. Yeah, okay. All right. So let's worry about that a little bit later. Um, your bread is unloaded again, so we'll pull you out. I'm going to offload you and then you're going to have some fun with the next lot of turns so we'll see how that goes <clears throat> offload that And away we go again. In fact, what I might do, and what I should do, I should just, um, should just go through here and I'll just pick the harvest of this stuff here. Did miss any when we went down here before? Yes, we did. As expected. I knew. I knew it. I just knew I was going to get buggered up there. All these cars. A lot of trying to do it the simple way and just turn it around, but no, there's too many cars. Let them all go by. What the hell? Bloody freeway. What I wanted to do was basically just get this minimised because it does give it a bit more room to do his turns.
might do is I might just see how he's going to go. And we'll start him down this area here. Right. right, we'll come back to him if he has any trouble. Right, he probably will. Um, I need you now to come and grab a seat up and head in to get some seating done. Otherwise, we're not going to get anything done. We're going to go around, we're going to grab the Kinsey and uh, head up to the two bigger fields and get the canola seeded in there. Alright, we need a liquid fertilizer as well. Now, I can't remember if I can get liquid fertilizer from this cell point. I don't think I can, honest. Um, but we do need to fill up with the seed, and we've got seed here. Fill up with that seed. Why have you... No, 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 no. All right. Let's see if I can get any... Uh... Oh, why? It's, um... Not letting me take the cover off and get any more seed. Hmm. Alright, let's go over to the shop. We'll buy some more liquid fertilizer and we'll just do it that way. <clears throat> Probably just as easy in uh, the end scheme of things. Probably should buy a little tank and fill it up with some uh, liquid fertilizer though and use that as an overloader um, just to uh, worry about the deal with that in the future. Um, go to the shop, we're going to buy some pallets of liquid fertilizer. Um, buy. Probably enough for now. <clears throat> All right. Swing on round, fill up, and then we'll get some seeding done. Oh, time has flown. We're already run over again. Man, what we'll do is we'll get this guy going, though. Uh, and then we'll um, we'll sign off. And the next episode, we'll come back in the afternoon of this same game day and continue on with the seeding and everything else that we are doing around the farm. All right, as I take over, take out the fence. I take out the fence. Spooky day. So what we're going to do is we want to set our field, our seed first. Um, we want to do Nola. There we go. Uh, then we're going to set up our course. Yeah. Go. Create our job and our field. Open the course generator. Two headlands will be fine. Start work sharp. I'm gonna do that six percent. Generate the field work. Okay. Should be fine. And we're gonna get him going on the first waypoint. Alright, well that's it for this episode. So thanks so much for watching. Hope you enjoyed it. If you did, press that like button. If you didn't press the dislike button, it's okay. It helps us either way. So, um, and it's free to press, so please press away. Um, don't forget to come and join um, if you're not already. <laughs> if you're not already subscribed to the channel, please consider subscribing. If you do subscribe, please make sure that uh, you press that alarm notification icon as well, so you're made aware of when new videos are available on the channel. Don't forget to come and join us on Twitter, Discord, and Facebook as well, with the details down below in the description. 
But most importantly of all, take care of yourselves and your loved ones, and we'll see you again very, very soon. Back here at Dark Solar Gaming and Fort Belleron. See you later. Bye.